navigation. 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 Why is that word sticking out to me so much, right? It's like, does this word mean anything? Does it hold any value? Does it hold anything that is of significance? That's the that's what's been kind of just going through my mind, right? A lot of things been going on. Drama. I ain't really going to get into it because I don't really care about really getting so personal in that way anymore. But it did get me thinking though, right? It got me thinking. And we're on this path, right? We're on this path trying to understand life as best as we can and trying to navigate through it and trying to live through it and just understand what the heck is going on at times, right? And we're using our life's GPS no matter what it is, right? And we're taking all these different destinations. We're getting to these different destinations. We're taking these different routes, these different alternative routes, all these different things, right? And we're sometimes ending up in probably maybe even worse places than we should be. Haven't you ever noticed that? I've noticed it so much, but then it's got me thinking, right? Like I was using this GPS, which is kind of a little like stupid, right? Because I'm, I'm not allowing myself to fully use what this GPS is doing right I am not allowing God to run my directions I'm not allowing him to show me where I need to go right sometimes I'm listening to my mind sometimes I'm listening to my heart but I'm never truly fully trusting in God and taking that will right and where has that led me it's led me down a lot of different paths and then what I would be foolish to say I regret taking those paths why do I say that though? Why do I say I don't regret following those paths? The reason I don't regret that is because I will have never grown to who I am right now. Right? If I didn't take those alternate routes, if I didn't take the detours, if I didn't get distracted and went off the wrong exit, right? If I didn't end up in these other destinations, would I be the man I am right now see that's the thing that's really just kind of been like you know on my mind right and it's making me think like man I'm grateful for where I'm at right now because if it wasn't for the GPS leading me to the destinations I was at right at certain parts in my life it wouldn't have led me to where I am now right it would not have led me to where I am now where am I at now let's see a job that I enjoy going to super tired sometimes but right I enjoy it um everything around me is falling into place I'm able to be myself I could work on my dreams and my goals I got beautiful woman on my side that supported me as a best friend as my significant other as my love as everything right everything that I could have ever wanted a beautiful daughter out of it as well a new addition I mean now me being welcomed into a new family very loving supportive I love everyone I've met right and I feel for the first time out of any of the relationships I've ever been in right I feel respected, appreciated, and loved. That's besides my own family. They made me feel appreciated and loved and, you know, and everything, right? But this is the first time with someone else's family. I finally feel that. I finally feel that. And, right, I'm, I'm trying, I'm still navigating. I'm still making some wrong turns, still making some mistakes. But I have a life partner that's there like, hey, no, 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 no. I ain't going to allow you to just run from your problem. You're going you to face them head on. I know it's scary, but you're in it to win it now. 
You ain't you ain't here to quit. No, 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 no. You are here to win. You are here to prosper and grow and to get to where you want to be with the one you want to be with. Hmm. That being said, ain't that so powerful that all the things in my past led me down these different routes and these different destinations and these detours and all of that, but it led me to where I am today. And where am I at today? I'm at a place of peace and love and joy. Everything that I could have ever wanted. Everything that I yearned for in my past. And it just never happened because I chose the wrong people. But now, where am I at? Shoot, my GPS rerouted it. God was like, no, what, son? I'm taking the wheel this time. And I'm taking you where you need to be. Right? And now where am I at now? I'm where I need to be. Yes, there's going to be some more detours, some more routes that are got to be taken. But I'm not doing it alone. I ain't just doing it. I'm not doing it alone. I'm doing it with God. But I'm doing it with a new family. With a new significant other. And ain't that the beautiful thing in all of this, right? That he's rerouted my whole destination to where it is Today, the reason this is important, y'all. The reason this is important is because you are at so many different destinations. You're at a destination right now. And what does that destination say about you? That destination says that no matter what's going on, this might be your final destination. This might be where God wants you to be or He's going to take you to even greater heights, right? So, or maybe he's going to bring someone into your life that you're going to make it to other destinations, right? So sometimes we're so focused on where we want to be that we're not there. But where we should be is with God in the driver's seat. Maybe you chilling in the back with your significant other, whatever it is. God's going to take you to your destination. You just got to put that trust in him to make it there right shoot i've met so many people in my life that are still in my life right now and i'm so grateful for it right i'm grateful for those people and maybe there's some that have been left behind maybe they ain't in my life no more and that's totally fine i have to realize that not everybody's gonna be with you when you make it to your destinations when you start making it to newer heights that's one thing I've had to learn, right? Of course, I could wish that I had all my friends from high school and that we were all cool still, but we all drifted away. We've all moved to different paths, right? That's just how life's going to be sometimes. But, like I said, my destination has now got some more passengers in the seat. Got some more, got more company with me now. Is this my final destination now? Because know what? I know God's got bigger, better plans. And I'm just putting my trust in Him. He my GPS. He's driving me where I need to go. Where He knows I need to go. Not where I want to go, but where he, I need to go. So, I appreciate y'all remember. Maybe this destination is where you need to be at. Or maybe you need to step back, put it in park. Jump in the back seat, jump in the passenger seat, and let God be that GPS and drive you where you need to be. It's when you fully start putting your trust in Him is when that's going to happen. Y'all stay blessed. I appreciate you. And I just want to grow my community. So, do me that favor. Share this video with somebody. Share a link to it. And ask, and just... You know what? Subscribe if you're not subscribed or try to get someone else to subscribe. I'm trying to do the reactions in a positive way and this too. Stay sweet.